Well, friends, we are here with the one, the only, Trisha Yearwood at Moody Center just ahead of the CMT Music Awards. And I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way now, the yes. fanboy out of the way. <laughs> I am a child of the 90s country music. God bless you. You and Garth Brooks <laughs> being like the power couple of all power couples in the world. Yes. Um, so it is an honor Thank to me. You. I Thank just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. That's good. That's good. That's good. Everything good. you just said, 100%. <laughs> Thank you. But yes, we are here in front of Trisha's Kitchen here at Moody Center. How does it feel to have your concept opening here in Austin, Texas? You know, so this is the first one of hopefully several, but yeah. that when they tell you you're going to start in a food city where people know <laughs> yes. good food, it's like, really, we're going to start this in Austin? <laughs> it's intimidating, so you want to bring your A-game. And I, I just love that we, you know, we, we just brought our basics. We know what's good. We yeah. know, and and the, the hardest part about all of this as a home cook is to make sure that when the, the food is being made, when you're not here, that it tastes like you would, I would, it would be if right, I made it for you. Right. And the team here is unreal. Top notch. Top, Top notch. notch. And so, you know, I love that because Moody Center is a unique building. This is a beautiful place to Gorgeous, see a concert. Right? It's a beautiful place to see a basketball game. <laughs> yes. um, and we want the we want you to come here and want to have the food. Yeah. Know? And we actually had a chance to try We did. Some, we tried several of the dishes. And let me just tell you, every, you nailed every single one oh, of these dishes. Thanks. That uh, broccoli cheese burrito, like that is, that is every church, Methodist church picnic <laughs> I ever went to <laughs> rolled up in a nice handy dandy burrito. I'm going to tell Garth you said that because I make this casserole all the time and he loves it. It. And he was the one that said, I want to walk around with it. Yeah. Can you figure out how to walk around Portable. with it? Portable. And so we put Perfect. it in a burrito, fried it in some cheese. Oh, why not? Why not? And um, that, there you have it. It's so good. So it's he amazing. kind of invented the casserito. Yeah. Well, yeah. good to know. Uh, that is good taste. And everything is really, really delicious. Thank one you. thing, I just one suggestion, a question, if I may. Your banana pudding cake that I have made about 185 <laughs> times from uh, your recipe. Maybe if that ended up okay, here at some point. I got you. I, just, I hear what you say. I've got you so. in front of me, so maybe if that happens, <laughs> just put in a request for the chef there. Okay, okay. Um, well, this is really exciting. Also, so exciting. The June Carter Cash Humanitarian Award, the inaugural, the first ever. You'll be receiving that at the CMT Music Awards. Tell us a little bit about that honor. It's very surreal. It's like, I don't, I, I will say this in my acceptance speech. You know, you get a chance to think about what you're going to say, which you don't, don't normally ever get a chance to <laughs> yeah. do. Um, and I think that probably no one has ever received an, a humanitarian award and said, I deserve this, you know? So you feel very like, I, what am I doing here? But I'm one of those people, because I came along in the 90s, that got to know her a little bit mm -hmm. yeah. and, and Johnny Cash a little bit. And so I feel like just, you didn't have to know her very long to know that she embodies everything this is about. And for me, it really just feels like an honor to be in the same sentence with her name mm -hmm. and to feel like, okay, now I have work to do. It doesn't feel like, here's what you've done. It feels like, okay, she's set the tone. Some accountability, yes. I guess, yes. going yes. forward. For sure. I love the way you put that. I That's do amazing. too, and congratulations on Thank that you. honor, by the way. And now at the CMT Awards, you're also going Going to be performing one of your very own songs that you've written. This is huge, uh, off of your brand new album. Oh, I need a therapist. Oh no, 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 uh, Trisha, it's so funny. I read an article that talked about how you have some, you had some kind of deep-seated um, anxieties in uh, about being a writer or not being considered a writer. Which I think anybody who has ever listened to your voice knows that you have stories in you. Why, why, why are you scared? Why did it take so long? You know, I, I, I want to, I've said this publicly that there was a guy in college that told me I wasn't a writer. And I wanna, but I want to also say that, you know, young boys sometimes say stupid things. So <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't, yes, they do. but I let it be my truth for a long time. Not his fault, my own fault. Oh, okay. And, um, and then also, then once I started making records, I felt like I defended the fact that I didn't write everything because mm -hmm. I, because I'd be like. You know, you don't listen to Patsy Cline sing I Fall to Pieces and then say it would have had so much more feeling if she would have written it herself. Great point. Right. Um, and there are great writers in Nashville who don't who don't make records. I mean, I got The Song Remembers When, I got She's in Love with a Boy, I got <laughs> yeah. Walk Away Joe, oh. and I would never want to not do those songs. But this is, this is something different for me and something new. And I wasn't intending to start performing these things yet. But um, when when the June Carter Cash Award came around and they said we'd like you to perform, I thought, well, maybe this is when we start telling the story. So I'm nervous about it because it's so it's being vulnerable in a new way for me. But I'm I'm also excited. Yeah, well, we're super we are very excited, excited for, for this. You. What yes. a great weekend for Austin, Texas, and Moody Center. Thank you, Trisha Yearwood, for everything, for the great recipes over the year, for the amazing songs, for she's in love with the boy. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for loving the nineties. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And for more videos like this, check out our We Are Austin playlist.